My Dream I was touching the tree when it broke. A large branch fell to the ground and I picked it up. I knew that on the tree was honeysuckle and I thought I could grow a piece of the honeysuckle elsewhere. I looked around for a good place to push it into the earth. I wanted a soft and fertile place and I saw a place which had been a compost heap and I thought this would do very well. It was close to a wall. When I had hurled the piece into the soft ground it went down quite deep and the angle of the top part of the branch was now close to the top of the wall encircling the garden. I was worried but that by leaving it there I would be causing the garden to be unprotected from thieves and robbers as they could easily get at the overhanging branch and thereby gain access. Nevertheless I left the branch in position thinking I could cut it back later. Next I saw the baby and I picked it up. It wanted milk and it began nuzzling my breast. I knew I had little milk and I tried to comfort it by holding it close and rocking it a little. It continued to search for milk, but somehow it seemed soothed. I looked around, and I saw my own mother, who was dead, holding another baby, so strangely that I feared she would drop it. I tried to help her, but I knew that I was being watched and criticised by others. I managed to get the baby from her, and now I was holding both tiny mites. We walked on. I came near to a cottage and saw a sign saying it was for sale. An old woman was talking to another person. She had wispy white hair and she seemed very frail. I thought I could buy the place, but she said the cottage was not for sale and she was only selling land. I felt sad. I went into the kitchen, where a large black woman was standing near a wooden table. On it there was pastry ready to be rolled and some other bits which were waiting to be shaped. I started to roll the pastry and I knew that it needed to be buttered and folded so that air would be incorporated. I started to roll the pastry. The woman oversaw my work and she seemed to be scoffing. I tried really hard to do it right. I worked as quickly and as methodically as I could, but she was never satisfied and jibed at me, saying, You think you can make pastry? What's this? She snatched a piece from me and threw it back on the table. I tried to roll it again with the rest, but everything now seemed to get into a mess. All at once she swept all the pastry and the flour and the utensils into the folds of her large white apron. There was nothing I could do. She stood over me and laughed horribly. My attempt had failed. I knew I was defeated. I woke up. What do you think all of this means? Help me, any of you who understand dreams. <laughs>